Before we get into all of that, I've got to show you a bit more of President Joe Biden. The man I've been saying for a year or more simply can't run for a second term. He stopped off in Vietnam on the way home from the G20 and he held a major press conference in Hanoi. It didn't go well, not even by Joe Biden's standards. Just try to get your head around this anecdote. My brother loves having those famous lines from movies that he always quotes, you know, and one of them is there's, there's a movie about John Wayne, he's an Indian scout, and they're trying to get the, I think it was the Apache, one of the great tribes of America back on the reservation, and he's standing with the Union, so he's, they're all on, they're in their, on their horses and their saddles, and there's three or four Indians in headdresses and the Union soldiers. And the Union soldiers basically saying to the Indians, come with me, we'll take care of you, we'll be, everything will be good. And the Indian scout, the Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union soldier and says, he's a lion dog-faced pony soldier. Well, there's a lot of lion dog-faced pony soldiers out there about, about global warming, but not anymore. All of a sudden, they all realize it, it's a problem. And there's nothing like seeing the light. Really? Really? That's just terrible, isn't it? But have a look at his next bit. He seems to say the quiet bit out loud. The president actually tells us what he'd rather be doing. If you don't have a game plan. He may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. OK, so that's pretty amusing, isn't it? Old Joe always wants to get off to bed. But think about the more serious side of this. What this is doing to America's diplomacy, for instance. Listen to this next answer. The president was asked about his talks with the Chinese Premier earlier that day. And in his answer, Joe Biden seems to check himself for using the term third world. Then he can't think of a more appropriate term. Then he tries the phrase southern hemisphere. Remember, he's reflecting on talks in India with China and he's speaking in Vietnam and he's on about the Southern Hemisphere. But then listen to his own press secretary calling an end to the media conference. We talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the, uh, excuse me, third world, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Southern Hemisphere had access to change. It had access. We, it wasn't confrontational at all. You thank, thank you, everybody. This ends thank, the press thank conference. You. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Normally, the press secretary is calling an end to a press conference to shut up the journos. It seems her job now is to silence someone else.